You saw the thumbnail, but that's the end result of this video. Here in front of me, I have only this robot and I have no idea how this will go. This is me first time ever doing this. So before I did this, I have few photos that I want to go with this. So I will just drag and drop here. First of all, I have this rust texture that I want to put on the robot. So let's clip it to affect only the robot. Beautiful. Then let's create a solid color adjustment layer. And yeah, go with something like that and put it all the way down. That's really great. Also, this texture is too colorful, so I will just desaturate it. Shift Control U or Shift Command U on a Mac. It doesn't work. Why? Well, because this is a smart object, so Control U. Working perfectly. That's great. And something is off. Yeah, I know because we don't have a layer mask. So we need to use really soft brush. And if we brush out this, oh, now it's much better. Ah, see, beautiful, almost done. And if we put this to soft light, ta-da, we have some brand new and old trash can. Okay, so I don't like to be all the way populated with all these things. So what I like to do is just to Remove it a little bit here and there using this brush and I will just do this. I will fast forward this part because this is just me brushing out all the things that I don't want to have this effect. Okay, let's fast forward. Also, you can you can play with some other textures like scratches, etc. So let's find a scratch texture. Let's go to pixabay.com, search for scratch metal. And yeah, we have a lot of this. Let's let's get this one, for example. Just download it. This is okay size. Okay, I'll just put it in and just clip it to affect only the robot. Maybe this is too big. Something like that. And create black layer mask by holding alt or option key. And I will just add yeah, I will just before that I will just put it in the soft light. Perfect. And I will just go with let's see. We can go with this brush. Hmm? Or we can go with just with soft soft brush for this. That's perfectly okay. Maybe a little bit here. A little bit here. Just that a little bit more. Interest to the scene. Oof, I don't like to go like that. I will make a copy to do with this part. So control command J, perfect. And then remove layer mask, delete layer mask. That's cool. Control command T and rotate it like, let's see, like this, perfect. And I want to warp it, right click and warp it and just Okay, like, like I will tell you something special about this robot in a moment. Bear with me. Let me just finish these things first. So like that, add a black layer mask by holding Alt or Option key and with nice brush, just add a little bit of this. All right, let's clip it to affect only the robot. This robot is cool. Here I don't need it. Here I don't need too much of that. So it will stay like that. This seems really, really cool. Okay, the next thing that I want to add here are the papers flying somewhere in the back. So let's find those papers. I have these ones and let's move them all the way back. And that's cool. So I can, I can use them. For now, let's leave them somewhere here, decent. And uh, also what I like to do is to maybe add some Let's add the rows. I want to download this rose from unsplash.com and put it right there in and I will move it all the way up and I will go with a quick selection tool and say select subject. Let's see if Photoshop will detect that this is rose. Yeah, perfect. Q, nice. I will add a layer mask and I'm really happy with this, but I want to delete a few things. So I will go with a little bit harder brush and black color and I want to delete all of this right there. So let's see. Let's see this and maybe even even this like it's 
somebody cut the rose like that perfect and yeah we can put the rose now here in the clothes but ah, it's too crazy big so I will make it smaller control command T and move it down and I will do a trick I will hide this gap here with the leaves why not this looks cool and let's see about the size of the rose well maybe a little bit smaller like where is it it's right there so let's see how this looks yeah maybe 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 like that hmm? what do you think guys i think this looks pretty decent also i will just tilt it a little bit like that perfect let's see here everything is covered all imperfections uh, like this like this yeah it's pinched trust me this robot can robot is pinched this road so let's let's go again with let's say this control command j these are the scratches i want to delete layer mask for now and i want to move it here i want to put it like that and clip it to affect only the robot and again a new layer mask black one and i will just add a little bit of scratches here and let's see overlay maybe now soft light works decent but this is too much okay and now when i see the trash can hmm, maybe maybe this texture here is a little bit too much maybe so something like that i'll just delete it from here and there but i will put some scratches here let's see Huh? are we doing it yeah 20 percent opacity is a little bit too low yeah we are doing it all right so something like that perfect a little bit just a little bit of that all right we have a robot we have a rose that's really cool already looking really really nice now we need to add some kind of a trash at the top of the robot so i will use this image and uh, let's see flip it horizontally i think mm, this is cool but i need to put it behind the robot so where is my robot these are flying papers this is robot and i will group all of this Control command g and name this robot and i think i grouped the rows too yeah yeah i don't want to group the rows so rows above the robot okay this is rows perfect this is like a trash not like a but uh, trash and uh, let's yeah, let's 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 do it like there are a few tricks we can just make it smaller and that's it but also i can go and control click on the robot and go to the trash right here and just create a layer mask perfect and uh, i can Invert the layer mask, control command I, and I did again nothing. So another th thing that I wanted actually to do <laughs> is to go and create a mask before this and then go create selection and invert selection, shift control I or shift command I on the Mac and with the black color. And I want to go with this brush. I will just delete things that I don't want to be visible. So like, like that perfect maybe this uh trash can not trash can but the trash inside should be smaller maybe let's see control command t and remember guys i'm doing this for the first time so you're seeing me doing this with all the thinking if it's good if it's not good etc so not bad I'm just now populating the scene with things, but then I will clean it up a little bit uh, with the colors, contrast, uh, light painting, etc. Okay, this is decent. Now what I like to do to add a few more elements. So I want this photo. Basically, only thing that I did before this, I downloaded a bunch of photos here. Let me show you really quickly. I downloaded a ton of photos that I think they can work with this. And now I'm, I'm trying so this is cool i will make this a little bit bigger mm, like that 
But I don't like this background. I don't want this robot to be in a desert. Although it's not bad, so... It's not bad like the robot is in the desert and found the flower, but I don't want that. So I want to create a layer mask and I want to hide all of this. And with a soft brush, I will just go and yeah, just blend it a little bit better. Perfect, so this is it. But also, let's try something. If I go from normal to soft light, soft light, not bad. If I want this to be brighter, I will do some trick here. But I'm going here with these two uh, settings with the soft light blending mode because I want to go with another photo that I think it can be cool trick. So with this one, let's see. Mm, not bad. Like that. And also I will just put this at the top okay and if i go with this one let's see in the soft light also yeah we have this and i want something to be this uh desaturated so let's see if i desaturate this ground back there yeah it's really cool like the there is like a concrete uh, cover with some dust and that's really cool here I will go with my custom made cloud, cloud dust smoke brush on the layer here and let's see mm. no I, I will not do that maybe a little bit here just to cover this a little bit more maybe this part also yeah, not bad at all. Let's see what is this in the back. Okay, I will cover that also. We can add some smoke. Like the idea is to create like some kind of a, a not apocalyptic thing, but there are a lot of nothing here and trash and robot. This trash can robot is picking things up and then it found really beautiful rose and it's thinking should it should it throw it in a ca uh, trash can or just put it somewhere else i don't know but this looks really decent let me see mm, this looks like it's on a moon wow trash can on the moon also i will go here and create another hue and saturation adjustment layer and let's see if i desaturate this a bit uh yeah why not just like that perfect and what we are missing here we are missing maybe some kind of a smoke up there. So let's see. Before that, I want this trash can right there. And also maybe this, let's see, is this the same? No, it's not the same. So these two, I will put it all the way up and somewhere here, maybe, maybe like here near the camera, like it's a big trash here and another one here and this one will be behind maybe just just like that i'm just thinking if this should be like that or not and uh, maybe let's see I, I think i downloaded another trash yeah i have this one maybe this one to be somewhere at the back right there well come on maybe like like that and also it should be behind the robot so now Mm, <laughs> let's see maybe here and remember guys that I'm just trying this and uh, I have no idea how it will be but you already know how it will be because hmm. and this looks decent we will fix everything now it looks like a big mess but it's just a bunch of layers uh, put it here in the scene so we have trash front front trash we have what is this oh, this should be inside the robot because it's inside the robot actually we have flying papers we have back trash and we have this is a background oh 
oh, okay, this is better now, it's much better now, we can breed. So above the background, I will add some kind of smoke. And I think it will be about this one, but I'm not sure. My cloud does smoke brush. And yeah, both the colors, this color works nice. So maybe, maybe not, maybe I will sample this gray, no, not gray, maybe this one. Oh yeah, and maybe darker like, like this tone. Let's see. Let me just turn this light off because it's crazy. I cannot see anything. Yeah, this is much better. I cannot see properly because this is a dark scene and uh, it's not so easy to see what is going on. So this is cool. Maybe a little bit darker. Darker there. And maybe a little bit brighter here and there. But also here I should Get some brighter tones. Not bad, not bad. Maybe some red, huh? What do you think? Maybe some, not red, but that's ah, too much. Desaturated orange tone like that, something here. Maybe just for fun. So this looks decent. And now it's time to, let's see, add this also to the background right there. So this barrel here, radioactive. Oh, come on, like, like that, maybe a little bit smaller, somewhere there. And I will put it behind the smoke, so it's right there. And also I will desaturate it a little bit. Mm, yeah, something like that. Also, let's see about this. Should it be behind the smoke? Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe I will do another trick. I will put it here, create a curse adjustment layer and just make it darker like that darker like that and then a new layer above and add smoke here and just paint like that and that's much better it's right there perfect maybe a little bit no, maybe a little bit darker tone, definitely. Okay, nice. Let's go to this front trash. I will again go with the curves and make this darker. This should be really dark. Like that. Also, I will go and add filter blur, Gaussian blur. And let's see. Not too much, maybe 15, 15, 16, 15. Let's see, 15 is not bad. But what happened here? And this is really crazy. <laughs> maybe because of, yeah, because of this. It's too much. I did this too much. Okay, so like that. And uh, I will just copy this alt and drag. And yeah, we have this. Maybe I will go with, with this one a little bit up. And here, let's see if we move the robot right there. No, right there. I'm just thinking about the flower, flower, flower. Where is the rose? We have a rose somewhere. So we have a robot, we have a rose. And if we link these two, link layers, perfect. Now if I move any of these, yeah, we will move both of them. That's perfect. So I want to link them and maybe to put a robot just a little bit here. Maybe if I want to make it bigger, I will make both bigger. That's really cool about the linking. Maybe I, 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 I don't think that I ever actually show you that trick, but now it's pretty handy here. So let's make this robot big like that. No problem, a little bit to the left and that's it. About the flying papers. Well, let's see, flying papers. I will add smoke layer here and I will add the smoke to some of these papers like this one it's like it's going all the way back there okay so just to make that 
impression that is that is back there in a depth perfect and uh, yeah also what I like to do is to use a curse adjustment layer and to make a little bit more contrast here on those papers like that also on the trash can where is my robot my robot is right there so trash can robot I will add curves adjustment layer just add a little bit more contrast there not too much but a little bit like like that let me see before and after yeah definitely much better and this seems really cool let's see about the rows so if I add a hue and saturation adjustment layer to the rows and see if there is a color that is working better maybe like uh, from maybe like a frozen rose mm, what do you think like to create a rose, or, or maybe rose on a fire or some magic rose I don't know I'm thinking too much so let's see let's go to the reds hmm. well no desaturated rose no um, I will leave it like that so I will do nothing special let's delete this so this is trial and error I want to go with let's see exposure clip it to effect only that make it darker inverted I just want to go with really soft brush right there and just add darkness to these parts a little bit more like that okay and also these parts here just to try to mimic light see wow what is this this is something is not clipped this is not clipped and this is okay now we can breathe and uh, let's go back to the rows like that and let's say that this is pretty decent before and after and now let's add something else let's go to the robot here create a layer name it light and for the light we will go like let's see few techniques one is very easy so maybe we'll go with that create like that a brush the size of this light perfectly choose a color maybe darker like that 100% opacity and just create this and this and this is our light control command T and just stretch it like you can go to perspective and just stretch it or hold shift control and uh, stretch it like that and alt for example so not bad also I can move it move it move it move it let's see I'll leave it like that perfect and put it into linear dodge blending mode perfect this is light it's crazy bad but it will be much better when we blur it a little bit and do a few other things so blur it a little bit like like that and uh, transform it move it here yeah like like this maybe let's see how this will go if we go like that and create a layer mask right here and uh, just oh I need some brush come on layer mask I undo it too many times okay that's cool and let's see if this is something that I like or not so Mm -hmm. not bad also in order to achieve this effect we need to go to the rows and add curves adjustment layer and make the rows brighter invert it control command I and just paint the brightness here just on these parts of the rows where this light is hitting actually like 
like like that and also we can do something else create a new layer clip it affect only that one and add the same layer mask and fill this layer with this red tone all right and put it into linear dodge mid color dodge everything is too much maybe overlay soft light soft light we want soft effects so mm, i'm not sure this is not good if i add hue and saturation adjustment layer control command u and switch the color a little bit like that and brightness we don't see anything here let's see before and after and if i hide this layer yeah not bad not bad this this looks decent but i don't want to have it here so like that and a little bit like that perfect and we can boost this up even more and now i think it's much better maybe 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 here a little bit to light spill around like that and like here hmm? maybe not bad maybe less here maybe something like Maybe something like that. This looks really decent. And also about the light right here, I want to add another layer. This is light number three. Well, number two, maybe we'll have a three, who knows. Light number two, linear dodge blending mode. And I want here to add almost white color, like yellowish white color. Like that mm. or 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 no i will do that in a different way later yeah maybe just like maybe just like don't touch anything okay let's go here to this trash so where is our trash here it's right there what i like to do here is first delete something that i see now that i didn't delete it so let's go to 100% opacity this let's see yeah that's cool okay now we'll add curves adjustment layer clip it affect only the trash make it darker make it darker like that and maybe add luminosity blending mode not to affect the colors and also we can go with the exposure and make it even darker invert control command i and just paint back don't crop it b for brush not for crop okay let's go here and paint back some some lights let's see i want i want something like that perfect maybe just a little bit like a little bit more contrast okay not bad our crazy robot is uh, not bad let's see about this smoke all the way back so <laughs> if we convert this to smart object and add filter blur gaussian blur and blur it a little bit maybe it's a little better so this is not blurred this is a little bit blurred here maybe I added, uh, I've converted to smart object because now I can easily change the amount of blur whenever I want. But this is not bad at all. We have the, we have the rose, we have the robot, we have the trash, we have everything. Maybe, 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 maybe just all over the top. Let's just collapse all of this and I will convert everything here and name it rows so now let's see if i select only robot i will not move the rows huh yeah i will move it but i will not move all the other layers because we basically need to select both of these and say link layers and now if i move just the robot I will move everything that's cool but i don't need to move robot anymore so it was just for the beginning part also i want to go all the way up and uh, name this smoke Number three, as I already said, 
Perfect, so let's go here and just add a little bit of the smoke. I said a little bit, not too much, maybe, maybe even less. Like that, and maybe around here, a little bit darker smoke. Not bad. Maybe I don't want it here, but let's see about the background here. So let's see what we have here. Smoke, flying papers, smoke, flying papers, etc. And now background. So this one. Now let's see. Mm, yeah, background. If you make a copy of the background, make it more pronounced. I'm not sure. If we should do this, let's see. If I put this to mm, maybe like this, just to add more like texture here, but I'm not happy with that. I like it more like this. And also what I like to do is to go to the bottom part of the robot here. So come on background, I want to do something here. I want to delete the second one. Yeah, this and I want to go to the robot uh, right there. Where is it? Come on, come on robot. You know, there is another trick when you have a bunch of layers here, you can just go and select the whole group so I know that this is everything here robot so trash can robot is this one and I want to add a new layer and I want to select maybe this kind of tone okay with regular soft brush and I just want to paint it down here and go with the color maybe yeah maybe like it's it's picking up that color down below because it's reflective robot has a reflective surface and and not bad okay this is cool we can stop it here or we can add even more papers let's see if i have more papers i have these papers right there so i will put those papers let's see yeah, I made a mess, so I cannot put it here. I need to put it behind the robot, right there, for example. So, yeah, I have these papers and let's see if I will use them actually. Yeah, I will do like that. Lasso tool, mm, maybe I don't want this. I don't want this. This one, I will make a copy of it, Control Command J, and here I will just delete it. Let's see if I did it, yes. And I will use this one right there to move it somewhere over the rainbow. And let's see about these. I don't need these, all of these. I will go with, come on, I will go with lasso tool, this and this, probably I don't need it, so I'll fill it with black, and this seems cool, maybe, 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 let's, let's see, maybe if I go just with this one, control or command J, and then go back here and select both of these and fill it with black, no, no, fill it with black, but on the layer mask, then I can go to this paper right there and maybe put it like here or maybe maybe here at the, this corner. Hmm? Hmm. Maybe just a little bit here. But before that I will convert this to smart object just to have to be more flexible here. 
I'm not sure about this paper. Maybe or maybe not. I'm totally not sure. Maybe I will cover it with some kind of smoke. So this is smoke and use custom made cloud dust smoke brush. And guys, if you want, you can download this uh, PSD file. You can download this PSD file at uh, my Patreon if you support me there. Thank you a lot. And you will get it at Let's use some brighter tone. And guys, also, if you want to download this PSD file, you can get it at my Patreon. So check it out there. The link is down there in the description. Also, what I wanted to tell you about this, this robot, really cool thing is that, let me show you. The robot is actually a 3D model that I created. And uh, I have a brand new channel. It's called 3D Not 2D, where I teach people Blender. I started that. And if you are interested in how to create this, it's really simple, really easy. And you can choose any angle, any irritation, any light setup that you want. You can subscribe there to that channel. The link is down there in the description. And uh, learn things about making 3D stuff and use them to implement them in your photo manipulation to make even more advanced stuff and to expand your arsenal and do things like that. And also, if you're a total beginner, I have there a free course made out of 10 episodes where you will learn all the Blender basics and made your first project. And I have another really cool two hours long tutorial where you will learn another set of uh, tips, tricks and techniques. And then I will create also this robot tutorial. So subscribe there and uh, Stay tuned for, for 3D if you're up to that. If you're not up to 3D, just continue with, with this channel. Okay, I will go right here to the trash of the robot all the way down and maybe desaturate, not color balance, but desaturate the trash here. Okay, yeah, because uh, it's too much maybe. Maybe it's too much, like, like that. Perfect, and we can tweak this a lot, but... I'm not sure what else I can put here. Maybe another, let's see, maybe, maybe another of these uh, trash here. Let's try, let's just make a copy of this and move it somewhere here. And let's see. Yeah, maybe, why not? Like there is a lot of, there is actually a lot of trash here and there mm, like that but also see this this crazy barrel here I'm not sure what to do with that should I should I actually leave it there or not so let's see let's bring the smoke back where is it where is it oh it's right here so if I go and make it bigger I don't like it if it's smaller like this still. Yeah, I need to blur it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I want to blur it. So filter blur, Gaussian blur, and now it's much better. It's all the way back there. Nobody can see it, maybe 20. And it's just the detail there. That's much better. That's much better. Maybe I can add now even more of these. This one behind this one and just tag them. Like, like that, why not? That's an option, but this is just like a small detail. It's, it's not so important. Okay, another thing that I just think about is maybe I should add, let me show you. Let's go to Envato Elements where I downloaded these trash, etc. Let's find butterfly and there are a lot of butterflies here. So let's, let's just use this one, for example. I want to see a 360 degree view. And now I can rotate it and that's crazy. So let's see where I want to put it. Maybe somewhere here or maybe somewhere here. I don't want to put it on, maybe, maybe on a rose. Maybe that, that's also a cool idea. So let's let's download like, like this and maybe this angle also. And now let's see what we can do with these butterflies. So first of all, I want to put a butterfly all the way above everything just in case to see first if I put it here I can always change the color of butterfly but this is not bad maybe that's a cool way to do it maybe okay and let's see about this one if 
I put it here, make it smaller. Maybe this is also a cool thing to do. I'm not sure, maybe like, like right there. Hmm. I'm not sure, maybe, maybe like a tattoo, tattoo here. So let's, let's put it in multiply and we have a small a sticker on the trash can, but we don't want that. Yeah, wait, maybe we can put a sticker on the trash can, but I don't know. Let's see about the butterflies. This one is too big uh, for the rose, maybe a little bit smaller. And let's see about the color. So hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to affect only butterfly and maybe no, maybe like, maybe like that because maybe yellow. Mm, I'm not 100% sure about this. Also about this light. Well, we can change a lot of things here, but let's see about this one. Maybe I will just cancel it. I will cancel this one. We just have one right there. Or we, we can just have one here. What do you think, guys? Uh, vote down there. Vote down there, but mm, I cannot see that after before I publish this tutorial. But I'm just curious. What should we do here? Yeah, maybe like this. Maybe we will cancel this. Maybe, maybe both, but... Blah. Let's cancel this one and let's use only that one like it's going on the flower, something like like this. Okay, let's try something. I just downloaded the stickers for the robot. So I will go right here in the robot group and uh, try this out. I will fast forward this, but just try it out. Okay, so after tweaking and experimenting which sticker to put it, maybe this one or maybe this one right there, still looks pretty decent. Uh, I decided to put only, let's delete this, to put only this sticker right there, this like, because this is too, it's distracting for the butterfly and everything. So I will delete all of these and yeah, I will leave just this one just as a really nice addition here to the robot. And now let's finalize this. So let's create a new curves adjustment layer just above the robot and darken everything. See what we are doing here, making more dramatic scene. Of course, this is too bad, but if we made, make everything brighter, I don't like it, but maybe a little bit more contrast. Maybe just a little bit like, like that. Just a little bit so we can emphasize this. So if we do something like that, and then, and then what I like to do here is maybe this is even too much. Mm. Let's see before and after. Yeah, before and after. Also, but I don't want to be a few, few things I don't want to be affected. So I don't want this to be affected here and everything else can be pretty okay let's see let's see let's see also this is affecting the robot too so maybe i don't want the bright parts of the robot to be affected yeah only i don't want highlights to be affected okay you will see why because i want to preserve highlights Ooh. Okay, I don't want that. And also a little bit of the brightness here at the top part, like the light is coming from the top also. Perfect. So let's see, before and after, before and after. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Maybe a little bit here and there. Okay. 
Now let's use Oniric, my favorite plugin for adding a realistic glow. So it's a Composite Nations product. Let's move this here. And let's see first, let's see how this looks. Okay, perfect. If I colorize this, it would be even better. Yeah, this is really cool. Obviously, we can add any color that we like here. But I will go with, with oh, even this. I will go with something like this for now. Also, I will lower the exposure a bit. And also, let's see if I lower the gamma a little bit. Yeah, I will, I will get something I like this here. So, I think this is this is decent. I will save it. So I would leave it like that, but I will here go and add hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to effect only the robot and and let's see. Let's see what we will do here. Beauty is that we can always change. I want to go with more like reddish tone, something like that. And uh, add another hue and saturation adjustment layer do that exactly that and i will just go with this one inverted control command i and go with really soft nice brush and here i will just this this upper part i will just desaturate a little bit okay also this yeah so let's see before and after. Yeah, I really like this. And uh, I think it's finally time for the color grading. And before color grading, I want to do a few more things. So these papers, extra papers that I add behind robot. So where is it? Where is it? Flying papers number three. These are good. But I also want to add for these papers blur and motion blur just a little bit see it's much better so maybe 37 is too much but but something like this in school and also also for another papers papers number oh for this one too let's 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 go like that and also let's see what is this? This is this paper at the top. I will also add a motion blur. And this is another paper. I definitely need to group those papers. So this is puppet paper number four. And I will add also motion blur there. Yeah, it's a little bit then this one also cool let's see that one that one that one let's add a mo well, yeah, i already added the motion blur i think so let's see yeah i added motion blur there there and i will group all of these control command g and name these papers perfect and i want the papers to be some kind of a gray color or maybe blue color, it doesn't matter. Perfect, this is smoke, smoke, smoke. Everything here is smoke. This is a barrel. Okay. This is smoke. Smoke can be without a slash here. And it can be some orange color, for example. And these are barrels. Okay, these can be no color. And we have a background and we have, what is this? Front trash. And all of this is for, this is smoke. This is butterfly. This is butterfly. All of this is for, no. Okay, this is glow. This is glow.
butterfly. Perfect, and we have another smoke, and now it's much cleaner. Okay, let's do a final color grading and finalize this, and let's go home. Right, I will merge everything together, convert to smart object, and now I will go to filter and uh, camera filter, and let's do it. Let's go to basics, and yeah, see, we can do a lot of things here. So maybe a little bit towards the bluish tone and greenish, I like it. I want to add a little bit more contrast here and open, uh, maybe open shadows just a bit and add blacks. I want to add texture, not too much, like people like to do this, this is crazy, don't do this. So a little bit of texture, but I want to lower the clarity a little bit and dehaze it a bit. And this is the final result. I really hope that you like it. And I also hope that you like this type of raw episode where you're seeing me doing everything for the first time, my way of thinking and all the obstacles that I have to overcome in order to create photo manipulation. I know this is a bit longer episode, but this is type of videos where you can learn a lot. Also, if you want to learn how to create this robot, join me on my second channel 3D, not 2D, where I will post an episode how to make this and also teach you a bunch of, bunch of other 3D stuff where you can expand your skills and make your photo manipulations even crazier, even better and even more fun. Also, check out this video and expand your skills even more. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye.